The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Friday, December 10, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Cleveland Cavaliers vs Minnesota Timberwolves. The Cavaliers boast the NBA's second best scoring defense at 102.4 points allowed per game. In the four victories preceding Cleveland's three most recent defeats, the Cavaliers built their own double-digit advantages. Cleveland won each of those games by at least 13 points and held three of the four opponents to fewer than 100 points. They'll try and get back on track on the road against Minnesota. Cleveland has played better than most would have expected in the first third of the season, and they find themselves squarely in the playoff picture in the Eastern Conference. The Cavaliers have won 5 of 7, and they have been stellar on the defensive end of the floor, helping them win games even with a mediocre offensive output. Minnesota comes in off a one-sided defeat to Utah, and they have had their struggles of late, as had the rest of the Northwest Division not named the Jazz. Minnesota has been without guard D'Angelo Russell for two straight games with right ankle soreness. He did not suit up against the Jazz on Wednesday and will be a game-time decision for Friday's home matchup against Cleveland. Thankfully Minnesota is expecting Patrick Beverly back for this game as they have struggled defensively over their four-game losing streak. Our first betting advice is to pick Cleveland Cavaliers plus one. For the year, Minnesota is 16th in the league in scoring offense with 107.8 points per game. The Timberwolves stand 9th in rebounding by pulling down 45.6 boards a contest, while they are 17th in assists by handing out 23 dimes a contest. Minnesota has struggled on the defensive end of the floor as they are 21st in scoring defense by allowing 108.8 points per game. Carl Anthony Towns leads the team as he averages 24.2 points while grabbing 9.2 rebounds and handing out 3.3 assists a night. Malik Beasley puts up 11.2 points a night while D'Angelo Russell contributes 19 points and 6.4 assists per game. Last year's first overall pick, Anthony Edwards, 21.8 points, Jalen Nowell and Nas Reed, 9.2 points, 3.7 rebounds, are reliable scoring options. Josh Okogie, Jake Lehman, Jaden McDaniels, Torian Prince, Jared Vanderbilt and Jordan McLaughlin are part of the rotation. The Timberwolves are 27th in the league in field goal percentage as they hit 42.5% from the floor as a team. Our second betting advice is to pick over. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES. Los Angeles Lakers vs Oklahoma City Thunder. The Lakers last played against the Boston Celtics, coming away with a 117-102 win. In the game, Los Angeles shot 51.6% from the field compared to Boston at 43.9%. Throughout the contest, the Lakers dominated the Celtics in the paint, winning the battle 66-42. This helped them overcome a poor shooting night from downtown, hitting just 29% of their three-point attempts. The Lakers are coming off of an embarrassing loss against a Memphis team that was without starting point guard Ja Morant. Los Angeles has been written off by most NBA pundits early in the year, and the advanced numbers support most of their claims, but there is still a huge gap between these two squads. On a team loaded with veterans, I'd expect the Lakers to bounce back and start to form some semblance of a turnaround as the season goes on. 
The last time the Thunder took the court came in a 110-109 win over the Toronto Raptors. In the game Oklahoma City enjoyed an above-average night behind the arc, hitting 42% of their three-point attempts. The team held an advantage at the free throw line, going 17 of 20, compared to Toronto at just 10 of 15. Our first betting advice is to pick Los Angeles Lakers. The Thunder have been able to lean on their bench for a scoring punch at times this season. On Wednesday, the Thunder bench outscored the Raptors reserves 29-14 in the win. In addition to Miscala, who hit the game winner, Oklahoma City got contributions from veteran forward Derek Favors, who added 9 points and 8 rebounds in the win. Oklahoma City earned a surprise 110-109 victory over the Toronto Raptors on Wednesday night. Shai Gilgis Alexander finished with 26 points and Mike Miscala added a go-ahead three-pointer for the Thunder with 9 seconds remaining to help OKC escape with a win. The Thunder shot 17-440 from three-point range and rallied from a 13-point deficit on the night. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Boston Celtics vs Phoenix Suns. The Celtics have fallen to three losses in their last four games as the team has slipped back to 0.500 for the season. Currently, the Celtics are 13-13 for the season after they were beaten 114-111 by the Clippers in their previous game. A sensational unbeaten run by the Phoenix Suns was broken by the Golden State Warriors, but they recovered quickly with a clutch 108-104 win against the San Antonio Spurs. With Booker out, this would seem like a lock for Boston, but he was out for the team's victory over San Antonio, and they still found a way to win. This is an outstanding Phoenix team, who not only shoot well, but play great team basketball. The Suns are fourth in assists per game, 26.1. They know how to move the ball and create opportunities. The Suns are now 24 for this season. Our first betting advice is to pick take the Phoenix Suns at minus 5.5. The Suns are led by Devin Booker at 23.2 points per game. Booker is also averaging 4.9 rebounds and 4.5 assists per game. However, he is listed as doubtful for this contest with a hamstring injury. DeAndre Ayton continues to be a force around the basket, averaging 16.3 points and 11.1 rebounds per game. Paul is averaging 14.6 points and 10.1 assists per game. Boston is 12th in points per game at 108.7 and 16th in points allowed per contest at 107.2. The Celtics are shooting 44.4% from the field, 21st overall, and are 22nd in three-point shooting at 33.7%. This is an outstanding free-throw shooting team, first in the NBA at 82.2%, and they are also first in free throws per game at 17.8. Boston is seventh in total rebounds per contest at 46.0. Tatum is leading this team, averaging 25.7 points and 8.8 .8 rebounds per game. The Celtics are going to be a little shorthanded for this contest, as Jalen Brown, 21.4 ppg, 5.2 rpg, is out. Three other Boston players are averaging at least 11.3 points per game. The Phoenix Suns look to continue their run to a second straight trip to the NBA Finals when they take on the Boston Celtics on Friday. Phoenix saw their 18-game winning streak come to an end when they lost to Golden State last week Friday, but they responded with a 108-104 victory over San Antonio on Monday. The Suns are 4-6 Austrian shillings in their last 10 games. Boston has lost three of their last four games after losing to the Clippers on Wednesday, 114-111. The Celtics are 4-6 Austrian shillings in their last 10 as well. Our second betting advice is to pick over 216.5.